Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. Friends, today I want to bring you some news about a new development in HIV treatment and this time it comes from my home country of Canada. This is almost a breaking news item because it was released a few weeks ago on 2nd of August 2023. News like this doesn't get uh, covered in the mainstream media with the same enthusiasm that political news or entertainment news gets covered. So it's the duty of our channel or channels like us uh, to bring this to you as soon as possible and uh, this is the earliest I could. Again, this is an early uh, access video for our members. Uh, so, uh, my special way of saying thank you to our members for supporting the channel. And uh, so sit back and watch this video and get inspired that more and more avenues are opening up in the race to cure HIV. That said, let's get started. <music> Welcome back friends. Manitoba is a part of Canada where HIV infections are among the highest and Health Canada has been working hard to try and find solutions to uh, get a control on this. A few weeks ago the Public Health Agency of Canada or PHAC published their findings that a specific gene may explain why some people have naturally lower viral loads of HIV. They think that this, there is a particular gene that slows down the virus from replicating and transmitting. The article has been published in the Nature magazine, which I consider to be a very good source of authentic information. The study provides evidence from population uh, genetic studies that Africa-specific uh, genetic variations near CHD1L associates with HIV replication in vivo. Current wisdom indicates that chromodoma in helicase DNA binding protein 1-like or CHD1L is a gene that encodes a protein involved in chromatin remodeling, a process that regulates the structure and accessibility of DNA within the cell nucleus. Chromatin remodeling is important for various cellular processes, including gene expression and DNA repair. CHD1L is associated with several cellular functions, including transcriptional regulation, DNA replication, and DNA damage response. It's been linked to cancer and is often found to be dysregulated in various types of tumors. Mutations or aberrant expression of CHD1L can potentially contribute to tumorogenesis and cancer progression. This is yet one more way in which scientists are racing to find a solution for HIV problem by searching for gene variation which can control HIV replication and keep the virus under check. This initiative involved the collaboration between scientists from PHAC, EFPL of Switzerland and the Imperial College of London. This is the first new genetic variant discovered in nearly 30 years of HIV research. It's a major breakthrough in our understanding of the virus and may lead to new HIV treatments and prevention strategies. This was discovered after studying the genetics of close to 4,000 people around the world living with HIV who are of African ancestry. Now the next step would be to design experiments to test and prove this hypothesis. Once proved, I think the potential next step would be to engineer a AAV or LVV to carry guide RNA and CRISPR-Cas9 to implement the variation in a safe manner so that there are no off-base edits and unintended consequences. But it's easier said than then. What would be uh, the target for uh, such an edit? Uh, where would you uh, do the edit? Is, going to, is it going to be in stem cell or whatever? I don't know. I'm a lay person, but I'm thinking that logically that will be the next uh, uh, target that the scientists would have. With that uh, said, I think... Uh, I don't have anything more to add about this uh, particular um, uh, news item. Uh, we'll wait and watch this uh, uh, this uh, group of uh, scientists to see if they come up with any other announcements about the next uh, uh, experiments that they are going to do or if they are going to start working on a therapy based on this approach. With that, I would like to uh, bring this video to an end. I would also like to request that if you have not yet subscribed, uh, please subscribe. And uh, I would also request that you introduce our channel to your friends so that we can make this a place for all HIV-related information and attract experts to talk to us in this channel. Because if we are a big channel with a lot of uh, HIV uh, uh, audience, 
I think uh, most of the scientists and most, most of the big pharma would like to come here and talk to us and we'll not have that difficult of a time getting the experts answering our questions. Friends, I am still following up with Aurobindo Pharma and Sipla in India uh, to get more information. My uh, my email to Weave has gone un, uh, unresponded. I was inquiring about Cabinova and when its uh, generic version will come to Africa and India. So uh, we don't have answers. We need a lot of clout in this uh, business in order to uh, get the attention of uh, the various big players. So friends, it's very important for you to help me uh, grow this channel. So I request that uh, you propagate our channel and get like-minded people to subscribe and start viewing our videos. So that's all for now. I'll be back with the next uh, video very soon. I'll catch up with you again later. Bye for now.